We're here with Pops Kovacs, the OC for the Roughnecks, and there's a scrimmage coming up this weekend at 2 o'clock in Rio Rancho. Can you give me some thoughts on that? Yeah, there's going to be us, the Roughnecks, and uh, two more teams down there. Now, I'm not too familiar with the way these guys are going to hold their scrimmage, but uh, in the past, in all my coaching years at high school, normally you'll go 10 plays on offense, 10 plays on defense, and then you go with your number one players, and then you're put in your number twos and go 10 and 10 again. And hopefully we'll get to rotate with the other two teams and we'll get into scrimmage game. And then we'll work a little bit on uh, goal line O and goal line D. And that's about the way a scrimmage goes. Jeremy Soto went from wide receiver to QB. Uh, how is that going for him? Well, it's a difficult transition because wide receiver, you run a route, you catch a pass. Quarterback, you gotta hit the line, you gotta read your defense, you gotta know who's coming on the blitz and who's not. So. I mean, he's picking it up slowly, but he's doing a pretty good job, and I got all the confidence in the world in him. How strong is your backfield this year? Right now we have three terrific backs. I've got uh, Cody Fouts, Shane Royce, and Seth Kane. And Seth is, if you get in front of me, I'm going to knock you down. Now, Shane Royce, he's a Dodger, and so is Cody. So I think we're going to be pretty good at backs. How strong and how fast is the wide receiver core this year? And are we going with four or five? We're going to go with five receivers. That includes the F-back. And all of them have good hands. I've noticed that this year we don't have a tight end set. Why the change? Because this year we're running a true spread. We want to spread the field horizontally plus vertically. And you're going to have to cover the field to cover our receivers. The Roughnecks are definitely going to take it to the next level. I'm Amy Lang.